all. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here to present on behalf of uh, my colleagues and particularly on behalf of the patients who've gone on, on, on this trial. Uh, you've heard the scientific top, uh, title. Uh, this is more a, a, a lay title that uh, we've put uh, up here because I think this gives you a sense of the direction where this type of research uh, is heading. Essentially, we're coming up uh, trying to develop combinations of these new targeted uh, treatments to try to eliminate uh, either in the short term, but particularly in the long term, uh, uh, leukaemia, in this case, chronic lymphocytic leukaemia. So the overarching purpose of the research uh, uh, aligns with what I've just said. Chronic lymphocytic leukaemia is the most common leukaemia in uh, Europe and North America. Uh, and while many patients have a good prognosis, people uh, who relapse early after our current standard treatments or uh, who don't respond to current standard treatments have a very poor prognosis uh, akin to some of the acute uh, leukaemias. So new treatments are, are very much needed and there's been significant advances in the last couple of years in this space. One of those advances is this drug venetoclax which is a, a, a tablet that's taken each day. It's designed specifically to target a key weakness in uh, uh, some blood cancers, in this instance, chronic lymphocytic leukaemia, and it works, and I'll show you on the next slide how that happens, uh, by uh, telling uh, leukaemia cells uh, to drop dead. Uh, and they do this by a process uh, that uh, was discovered in research over 50 years ago uh, uh, by apoptosis. Um, and so the idea of this study is to combine this new targeted treatment uh, with another non-chemotherapy drug that's been around for a long time. We know a lot about it, and that's rituximab. So this slide just outlines the mechanism of action of venetoclax. Now, um, CLL cells depend for survival on a protein that's within cells called BCL2. It was first discovered about 28 years ago and its function was discovered 26 years ago and this drug was first uh, generated uh, just on uh, five years ago. And what the drug does is uh, it turns a CLL cell that's happy under any stress because it's got a lot of this BCL2 protein. The drug comes into the cell it binds to the BCL2, it switches it off, and the CLL cell can no longer survive, and it undergoes a process of death, and that takes uh, several hours. So the action of this drug is very quick. Turning to the results of the research, this trial uh, included 49 patients, all of whom had uh, CLL that uh, was not doing well uh, with uh, current standard uh, treatment and had returned or was refractory to treatment. Of the, uh, uh, all of the patients received six standard doses of rituximab, and uh, then uh, subgroups of the patients had different doses of venetoclax. All those doses worked, so they're pooled for this analysis. Overall, 41 of the 49 patients had a very good response by our standard criteria. 20 patients achieved what we call a complete response which is uh, when you see uh, no evidence of chronic lymphocytic leukaemia by just standard technology. Of those 20, 13, we couldn't find any CLL using very sensitive research uh, uh, techniques. And uh, excitingly, um, six of the patients, in fact, uh, elected to uh, stop having their venetoclax uh, treatment, which in others uh, was ongoing. And to date, only uh, one of those six patients, patients of mine, and it was only two weeks ago, hence uh, different information in the written abstract, uh, only one of these patients has had recurrence of disease, and that was two years after they stopped treatment. So this is a, a new targeted therapy that in combination may mean that uh, we can have a treatment course that isn't ongoing uh, in the long term. So in conclusion, venetoclax and rituximab is a very active non-chemotherapy treatment for patients uh, with relapse refractory CLL. We've learned how to give this uh, combination safely and to establish formally uh, just how much of an advance this may be, there's now a randomised study ongoing between what would be the standard treatment, 
which is chemotherapy plus rituximab, and the chemotherapy is bendamustine versus the venetoclax um, plus rituximab. Thanks for your attention.